Hello dear viewers, a quick video, a quick video for why, for why you might ask. Well, I've discovered something today that's quite cool, something that's been updated and works very well. It's not this radar map. This radar map is just to tell you why I might, why I might use uh, what I've discovered. Um, so this is our ADSB feed that we have down here in South Africa. Uh, many, many receivers, uh, mostly on the east coast of the country pulling data into a fixed point and that fixed point then chucking the data out via virtual radar server onto the web or um, into straight into mission planner. So we don't just see aircraft coming um, from uh, our local receivers, uh, we see them coming from, um, oh look, up there. we see them coming uh, from multiple receivers, so plenty of um, warning over the hill. And the basic cane for those who haven't seen before is to cover from um, Johannesburg up here down to Durban down down here so that's 500 kilometers that it's our trial area if you will anyway and underneath this the map underneath it used to be Google Maps but now it's open street maps zooms in hopes it'll start coming yeah here it comes um, so anything I change on open street maps will be reflected on this after a short while it takes a couple of weeks for it to to come through the system uh, in fact you might have seen if you looked at anything about the uh, Lake Kivu Challenge, where am I going? I'm going up here, here I am. Um, that happened recently in Rwanda. Uh, I did a lot of work updating the map up here in, in preparation for it. And I did that about, uh, about a month and a half, two months beforehand, because that's how long it takes to to migrate through the system and get onto the map. That's, that's where the drone port was there. Uh, obviously good maps and anything we do is a good thing. So anyway, uh, I'm going to drop on to what three words uh, over here in Africa and in a lot of world places don't have addresses and what three words if you hadn't heard of it it's a great way of putting a an address or a three by three meter gridded uh, position on the earth into three words what three words and uh, you can just quote these uh, down here in South Africa you can quote them at the emergency services we're not looking at um, South Africa right now. In fact, let's go to the map. We're looking at Kazangunu. 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 I don't know quite how you say it, so butchering that a little bit. But that is uh, this is where the drone delivery corridor is based in uh, Malawi. Uh, so this is what map have I got selected here? Map options. Well, let's see. Let's see what roads uh, Google Earth has. That's what uh, Google Maps has. So you can see not a lot. Open street map has a lot more, but I thought I'd have a little look. And if we go over here, now Rapid is the Facebook artificial intelligence experiment uh, for pulling roads and things into maps. And look at this, you see these these here purpley maps, purpley roads, purpley tracks. These have all been pulled in by AI, and I can add them. They look to me taking a long time to resolve, but you can just add them to the map by using this feature. I don't think I think that's probably likely to be a path actually. So we'll say it's a path, and that's it. Once I save this, I start adding them up. So you see, it saves you a hone of a lot of time. Uh, this AI business. Now I've looked at this before. And it wasn't working it was only working in well it was working but only for some selected uh, spots uh, so it wasn't all over the world but it appears to be all over the world now so map with AI is the website you're looking for and uh, rapid uh, rapid assist is the method and I think that's jolly jolly cool um, let's go out so that's a major place there let's just go somewhere random in the Let's go out here and let's get it to pull it in on the fly because obviously I'd looked at that so you would um, there look at that so that's all stuff that the artificial intelligence thinks might exist so you then uh, zoom in check it and add it if you think it's appropriate obviously over time if more people map an area or start using this in an area it's going to get a better idea of what the features actually are so I'm very impressed with that if you're an open street mapper you might be impressed as well don't forget join us 21 GMT every Tuesday for our drone and sundry drone stuff this week hangout of nonsense with 
Bruce and Ian and the gang. Uh, be safe whatever you're doing this weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Cheers for now.